Just um, a stat out there about how you're basically number one among all rookie offensive tackles. From where you were week one to where you are now, learning a new side of the ball, what are you most proud of? Uh, really just, I feel like me just coming out there every week, trying to just improving. Um, just not worrying about what happened last week or last Sunday, just trying to get better and show on the field that I'm getting better. So that's probably that's the most thing I'm happy about. I know last time we talked, you said run blocking is something you're still at yeah. the NFL level trying to really improve upon. Mm-hmm. How have you done that, you think, over the last few weeks? I feel like I've done decent. There's still a lot of room to improve in all parts of my game, uh, especially that one. Um, it's just little things like uh, certain angles, uh, finishing blocks, just sustaining, just things like that that I needed to work on and still just getting better every week. Uh, I feel like they're, they're, it's that with well, the edges, they're long. They got some speed, some power. The inside's big. I know they got a quick guy, the rookie. Uh, that's my boy. I kind of know him a little bit, so he quick a little bit. But uh, they they, they uh, show some challenges. But with a game plan and with all five linemen, with us playing together and playing the game plan, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. You guys train together? Yeah, we did. We trained together. What's, what's so special about What makes him so special? Uh, well, I just feel like on the field, he's just quick uh, and he's powerful. You, you, he don't really look like it, but he got that little speed, that little get off on him. And he got some moves too, which make him a little harder to block. So I feel like I've been watching him a little bit this season and he's been doing pretty good. So Obviously, they got some pretty big guys on the interior yeah. too. How mm-hmm. much of a challenge is that for you, knowing you got to line up with those athletic guys on the edge that maybe got to help inside? Oh uh, yeah, it's definitely a challenge knowing who you have, like big guys like Vita Vey on the inside and then the long speed guys on the outside. But it's just knowing that just knowing the defense and knowing what they do, uh coming in Sunday it should be no worries, no doubt. That's just how I gotta come in. Can you compare them to anybody? Uh what the inside guys are outside. Oh, just in general, they're front. Like anybody uh, you guys play you need to go back and watch tape or? Not really, not yet. Actually I gotta look at some more but I wouldn't really compare it yet. Yeah, okay. And then one last thing, Doug just stressed this morning about how, for you guys, it's a lot more difficult than it looks along the offensive line mm-hmm. when it's constantly being shuffled, who's in, who's yeah. out with injuries. Speak to the attrition and, you know, what a challenge it's been. Oh, it's definitely hard with different uh, lines every week, but I feel like with this group, we're so, we're so close, and everybody from first to last, everybody knows what they're doing, and everybody's close with everybody, so... On Sundays, it's not that really of a, not that much of a drop off if it if, if it is any, and I feel like that's big in the O line room. Uh, so I say that's kind of how our mindset is coming in week by week. Whoever's out there is going to do their thing, and whoever's behind them is ready. And I feel like that just makes everything easier and smoother.